Okay, welcome back. This is Dr. G. I'm going to show you um, all the steps, detailed steps, in a basic polynomial long division problem. And um, in the next video after this one, we'll get a, a little more complicated. So in this one, we're taking the polynomial 12x squared plus 20x plus 10, and we're dividing it by the polynomial 3x plus 2. And in the directions, it asks us to give the quotient and the remainder. So you're learning a little terminology here, too. So um, just one bit of terminology that uh, they don't mention is the thing that you're dividing, so this big, long polynomial, that's called the dividend. The dividend is always the thing that's being divided. And the thing that you're dividing by um, is called the divisor. That's the divisor. So we'll be using um, the divisor in the next video. The dividend we don't usually talk about. Okay, so we're going to write it like we write a long division problem with real numbers. So we're going to set it up using division notation, 3x plus 2 divided into 12x squared plus 20x plus 10. And then above this division symbol, this division thing, we're going to write the quotient up above. So to get the quotient, we start out by looking at the leading terms in these two polynomials. So we look at 12x squared and 3x. And we divide 12x squared by 3x. Another way to think of that is ask the question, what do I have to multiply 3x by to get 12x squared? So I have to multiply the 3 by 4 to get 12, and I have to multiply the x by another x to get x squared. So I have to multiply 3x by 4x in order to get 12x squared. So 4x, we write that up here, and um, you'll see in most textbooks they want you to write um, the terms in the quotient above the like terms in the dividend. So notice I wrote the 4x right above the 20x. Now I honestly don't care where you write it, but I'm just going to try to be consistent with what the textbook tells you to do. Um, it doesn't really matter where you write it. Okay, so now we've got 4x up there. Now we have to multiply 4x times the divisor 3x plus 2. So we do it term by term. So 4x times 3x is 12x squared. And then 4x times 2 is 8x. We write, uh, we line them up. We have to line these up with the like terms in the dividend. So this is important. It is important here where you write it. And so now we're going to subtract. Um, but I'm just going to add a constant term at the end. Notice I added a plus 0. And that's just sort of a placeholder because what I'm doing now is I'm going to subtract the lower polynomial from the one above it term by term. So I put parentheses around the whole polynomial and a minus sign out in front. Now some people like to distribute that minus sign and then add. Now I don't do that because sometimes I forget to distribute my minus sign. So what I try to do is subtract term by term. And I kind of do it in my head. So looking at the first terms, 12x squared minus 12x squared is 0x squared. We're just subtracting the coefficients. 12 minus 12 is 0. So looking at the second terms, 20x minus 8x, we really just have to subtract the coefficients. So 20 minus 8 is positive 12, so I get positive 12x. And then the last terms, I've got a 10 minus 0, which is just 10. 
Now, that leading term, 0x squared, I don't really need that anymore. I don't need that uh, placeholder there. So I'm just going to erase it. So now I've got 12x plus 10. And I'm still dividing. So I look at the leading terms again. So 12x and 3x. We divide 12x by 3x. Well, another way to think of it is, what do I have to multiply 3x by to get 12x? And the answer is just 4. 4 times 3x will give me 12x. So I write the 4 up above, right above the 10, to be consistent with the way the textbook tells you to do it. And now I need to multiply um, the divisor, 3x plus 2, by that 4. And I want to do it term by term. So let me get rid of those arrows. So I'm going to do 4 times 3x, and that's 12x. And I wrote that below the 12x um, down there. And then I want to do 4 times 2, and that's 8. So now I'm going to subtract. So I put parentheses and a minus sign. And term by term, I go 12x minus 12x is 0x, but I'm not going to write the 0x this time because I don't really need it. And then 10 minus 8 is positive 2. So that's all I get. I don't need to write the 0x. And now we can't go any further because I can't divide 2 by 3x. So that's it. And my quotient is the thing, the 4x plus 4. So I'm going to write um, the quotient is 4x plus 4. And then the remainder, the other part of my answer, is just 2. And that's it. So that was really just a two-step long division problem. And we're going to do some more complicated ones in the next video. But the idea is to keep track of everything term by term. And use placeholders only when you need them. And we'll see when we need them in the next video. Okay, that's it for this one. Have fun.